we know a lot about Patagonia, about what Patagonia is, but related with mountains. It's a huge landscape. There are over 40,000 islands and islets, hundreds of fjords, but there are few people who actually know what is under the water. We just arrived today to TikTok Bay. I'm seeing now um, that there are endemic dolphins right there. There's so much life under the water, over the water. And so we want the people to understand that not only Patagonia above the water, but under the water, it's extremely important. It's, it's amazing, the light is perfect. The visibility is crazy good. The kelp forest is full of life. We have the biggest kelp forest on earth. Kelp forest not only produce incredible diversity, but also we know now that they're the biggest carbon sinking ecosystem on earth. That means that we should protect it because it's not only good for Chile, but it's good for the planet. And this is why we came here. You know, I, I didn't know what to expect coming into this expedition. It's, it's been incredible to dive and explore this northern region of Patagonia. We've been covering a lot of ground trying to broadly assess not only the health of this underwater ecosystem, but also to explore sites no one's ever seen before. It's like a fairy tale down there. Big fingery purple sponges in every color you can imagine. It's like a dream. It's like a tropical reef in Patagonia. With more color. I've never seen so much color. There are still pristine, untouched fjords here, which are really important places to establish strong protections. Diversity, richness, things you wouldn't even think that exist. Beauty to another extreme. But also, you can see the vulnerability of this beautiful ecosystem, species that are all interlinked. There's so many processes that come together in this place. And it helps you to understand that this is probably one of the few climate refuge on Earth. I mean, what, what we have seen in there, what is just, it's just incredible. I mean, it makes me super happy. So Chile has throughout the years been quite a leader in ocean protection. We're very proud of having a bit over 42% of our exclusive economic zone protected. It does not mean that we're ready, that we're check done, because we, we still need to protect ecoregions that are underrepresented. This place is very special because it has little pollution. It still has a lot of biodiversity and well, the kelp forest are forests. The same as their terrestrial counterparts, they can effectively then help us to mitigate climate change. It plays a very important role, not just for this region, but globally. It's just incredible to, to actually see how much life there is down there. You really understand why they call it a, a forest, right? It's very important that we, that we protect it. There are answers for the climate change crisis. There are answers for solving this situation. And this is one of the places where we can get those answers.